today we are starting to learn, learning, we are starting to talk about, I can't ever talk right when I'm recording a video. Anyway, and by the way, the video is just showing what's on my screen here, not anything. So, anyway, um, we're talking about periodic data or periodic functions. Um, a periodic function is a function that repeats a pattern of y values at regular intervals. What does that have to do with the self-starter we did today? So everything we talked about in the self-starter, like um, the earth going around the sun, and a heart beating, and a swing going back and forth, and um, what was the other one? Waves, ocean waves. All of them all of them repeat in a regular pattern over and over. Do you remember how, me t how I started talking about do any of them repeat consistently? And I said, what if we just take a piece that's consistent? You guys agreed that that would work, right? Okay. So it repeats a pattern of y values at regular intervals. One complete pattern is called a cycle. Who could tell me what the cycle would be, the period would be for the Earth going around the sun? What would the period be for um, a heartbeat? A second or something, right? Or part of a second? Blood pressure is a little bit different than pulse, but similar thing. There probably is still a pattern for blood pressure. Okay, um, what about a swing? What would the period of a swing be? How long does it take to go back and forth? Totally depends on the swing, like the length of the chain on the swing and such. Right? What about waves? What would be the horizontal length of one wavelength um, on, in the ocean? Depends on how windy it is. Depends on where the moon, what the phase of the moon is at that particular time, right? And the gravitational pull between the moon and the earth. Yeah. You know how there's, do you know anything about tide and how there's high tide and low tide? That has to do with the cycle of the moon. Yeah. Okay. So a period is the horizontal length of one side cycle. When we say length, sometimes we're talking about actual distance, and sometimes we're talking about time. Like when I said a heartbeat, I said it's a second or part of a second. So sometimes when we're graphing periodic functions, we actually, our input value or our x value is actually time. And so when you're talking about the length of one cycle of the graph, we call that the period of the graph, the length of one repeating cycle of the graph. Amplitude. This is actually on a different page, so if you want to just watch for it later in your book and not worry about writing it down right this second, that would be okay. But this is one thing you actually have to calculate today, so you're going to want to know how to do that. So amplitude is half the distance between the minimum and maximum y values. So you find the very highest top of the wave and the very lowest bottom part of the wave, or of the whatever is cycling over and over. And the amplitude is the distance, half of that distance. Okay? Which kind of takes us to this other word, midline, which is basically a horizontal line right through the middle of your periodic data. So that the highest points are an amplitude length above the midline, and the lowest points are an amplitude length below the midline. And the midline is right in the middle. Okay? Does that make sense? Let's do some examples. So we're going to look at page 380 in your book. I like how even though it's a separate book, the page numbering starts from where we left off. So we're not going to get confused about which book we're in. And page 380 has disappeared. There it is. Okay. So we are on page 380, in case you didn't hear that. Analyze each periodic function. Identify the cycle in two different ways. Um, what is the period of the function? What do you think it means when it says analyze the period in two different ways? So the period of the, or not the period, but the cycle. 
So the cycle of the graph is one whole repeat. Does it matter where that repeat starts and ends? No. So we could start here in the middle, on the midline, and say that one cycle of the graph goes from here to here. Or, so I'm just going to sketch that. So that could be one cycle of the graph. Or what if we started at the top of this wave right there instead, and then took it clear to where it goes back to the top here, right? Are those both okay ways of identifying the cycle of the graph? Yeah, it doesn't have to start here and end here. It could start here and end here, or it could start here and end here, or it could start, uh, if you really wanted to, here and end there. That one's weird, but anyway. Okay, period of the function is the length of one cycle. So what we're going to do is look at how long the x value is in one of those cycles. I'm going to use the one that I started with that goes from the midline up, down, and then back to the midline. How many x, how, what is the x value length there? So it starts at zero and then where it crosses through the x-axis and then it goes back through the x-axis at four. How come this piece here doesn't count as a cycle? Why isn't the period two? It doesn't have the whole cycle where it goes up and then down and then back to middle, right? So even though it crosses the x-axis there, the whole cycle of the graph is not repeated. So the period of this particular graph is 4. All right, let's try B. Um, this one, I think the two obvious ways to do the cycle on this graph are either to zig down and then up. Or the other way we could do it is to zig up and then down, which suddenly reminds me of the videos we watched last time, which also reminds me I was going to show you Angie's um, fractal, but I've moved on, so oh well. Anyway, so now let's figure out the length of one of these cycles. So we could either do a valley or a mountain. Okay, mountain. So let's look at this mountain in the middle here. How far is it from the bottom of this mountain on this side to the bottom of the mountain on the other side? Three, and then the whole mountain repeats, right? So that is a period of three. Okay, everybody do practice A problems one and two for me. Go.